Hi guys, welcome to today's session. Thank you all for your responses on yesterday. And our yesterday's quiz question was Corrosion Test Kit is developed by which organization? And it is developed by IIT Delhi. As we all know, it is a test kit used for testing COVID-19. So it is a recent development in the country. And we'll now start today's session. First question for the day with reference to Chief Vigilance Commissioner CVC. Consider the following statement. Statement 1. It is a constitutional body. Statement 2. It submits its report to the President of India. And Statement 3. The Central Vigilance Commissioner or any Vigilance Commissioner can be removed from his office only by order of the President. So which of the above statements is are correct? Option A. 1 and 2 only. Option B. 2 and 3 only. Option C. 1 and 3 only. And Option D. 1, 2 and 3. So guys, correct answer here is it is option B, 2 and 3 only. So guys, the Central Vigilance Commission is the Apex Vigilance Institution, free of control from any executive authority, monitoring all vigilance activity under the central government and advising various authorities in central government organizations in planning, executing, reviewing and reforming their vigilance work. And it is a statutory body and CVC receives complaints on corruption or misuse of office and to recommend appropriate action and usually the central government lockman whistleblowers all approaches cvc and remember it is not an investigation agency the cvc either gets investigation done through cbi or through chief vigilance officers in government offices and it is empowered to inquire into offenses alleged to have been committed under prevention of corruption act 1988 by certain categories of public servants and it consists of Central Vigilance Commissioner along with two Vigilance Commissioners and they are appointed by the President of India on the recommendation of a committee consisting of Prime Minister, Union Home Minister and uh, Leader of Opposition in Lok Sabha and if there is no Leader of Opposition then the Leader of the single largest opposition party in Lok Sabha is chosen and their term is 4 years or 65 years whichever is earlier and the Central Vigilance Commissioner or any Vigilance Commissioner can be removed from his office only by the order of the President. So that is about CVC. Now we will move to second question. Second question is zero yield, a term often seen in the news is related with option A Paris Agreement, option B Basel Convention, option C Doha Rounds and option D Comprehensive Nuclear Test Ban Treaty. So guys the correct answer here is it is Option D. Comprehensive Nuclear Test Ban Treaty The Comprehensive Nuclear Test Ban Treaty CTBT, is a treaty banning all nuclear explosions everywhere by everyone and the treaty was negotiated at the conference on disarmament in Geneva and adopted by United Nations General Assembly. It was opened for signature on 24th December 1996. The treaty has not yet entered into force. Actually, the signature to a treaty indicates that the country accepts the treaty. But the ratification symbolizes the official sanction of a treaty to make it legally binding for the government of a country. So that is the difference between signature and ratification. And CTBT is essentially a zero yield treaty. This means that the agreement prohibits all nuclear explosions that produce a self-sustaining supercritical chain reaction of any kind whether for weapons or peaceful purposes. So that is meant by zero yield treaty which means it prohibits supercritical hydronuclear test but remember it does not prohibit subcritical hydrodynamic nuclear test. Actually the supercritical hydronuclear test study nuclear materials under the conditions of explosive shock compression their yield ranges from negligible all the way up to a substantial fraction of full weapon and subcritical test are types of test involving nuclear materials and possibly high explosives that are purposely result in no yield uh, which means subcritical refers to the fact that the amount of special nuclear material used is not enough to initiate a chain reaction that is subcritical. 
so ctpt prohibits supercritical not subcritical and recently the united states uh, has accused china and russia of conducting nuclear test with low yields in violation to ctpt and guys a uh, today's quiz question is this organization comprehensive nuclear test ban treaty organization ctbto so where is the headquarters of ctbto located so please post your answers in the comment section we'll move to last question for the day last question is consider the following statement statement 1 typhoons are cyclones in the south china sea and pacific ocean statement 2 hurricanes are cyclones in the west indian islands in the caribbean sea and atlantic ocean and statement 3 tornadoes are cyclones in the north western australia so which of the above statements is are correct option a 1 and 2 only option b 2 and 3 only option c 1 and 3 only and option d 1 2 and 3 guys the correct answer here is it is option a 1 and 2 only so guys these are the names of tropical cyclones in indian ocean it is known as cyclones only in atlantic ocean it is hurricanes and in western pacific and south china sea it is typhoons and western australia it is known as willy willies and the other point is regarding the naming of cyclones actually the cyclones are addressed with different names like oki cyclone fani cyclone amphan cyclone likewise each cyclone has got different names so let's now see who is naming this and how is it named actually there are five tropical cyclone regional bodies that is escap wmo typhoon committee wmo escap panel on tropical cyclones ra1 tropical cyclone committee ra4 hurricane committee and ra5 tropical cyclone committee names are not much relevant just understand that there are five regional bodies and in general the tropical cyclones are named according to the rules at a regional level and the wmo escap panel on tropical cyclones and its 27th session held in 2000 in muscat which is in oman agreed in principle to assign names to the tropical cyclones in the bay of bengal and arabian sea so after long deliberations among the member countries the naming of the tropical cyclones over the north indian ocean comes from september 2004 and eight countries namely india Pakistan, Bangladesh, Maldives, Myanmar, Oman, Sri Lanka and Thailand participated in the panel and came up with a list of 64 names. And you are seeing the chart of the names in the screen now. These are the 64 names suggested by these eight countries. And the rules for the naming names are like the name should be short and readily understood when broadcast. Further, the name should not be culturally sensitive. and should not convey any unintended and potentially inflammatory meaning and let's now see how the naming is taking place these countries submitted eight names each all right which are arranged in this a to e table the first cyclone after the list was adopted was given the name in the first row of the first column that is onil in this table proposed by bangladesh and subsequent cyclones are being named sequentially column wise with each cyclone given the name immediately below that of the previous cyclone and once the bottom of the column is reached the sequence next move to the top of the next column so far i think all the columns are as hosted fani which is it was again proposed by bangladesh is the top of the last column then we had vayu and the list wind up with cyclone amphan which was on this year So after this 64 names are exhausted the eight countries will propose fresh list of names so that's how the naming process is taking place and recently as i said the this list of 64 names is exhausted and now they are coming up with new list and recently the indian meteorological department imd has released a new list of names of tropical cyclones over north indian ocean including bay of bengal and arabian sea so that was in news recently so that's it that's all for today guys we'll meet tomorrow with another set of questions please post answer to the quiz question and your scores in the comment section thank you for watching